Blanky the Pipe Piper. Once upon a time, in the Persian castle, there lived Blanky, a talented piper. On every market day, the sound of his flute never failed to make people smile. How amazing! I have to drop by every time to enjoy his flute. Hey, get enough of it, right? He's the best pipe piper in town. But, um, what's his real name, anyway? Why does everyone keep calling him Lanky? He's been a scrawny boy since little, so people just call him Lanky. No one remembers his real name anymore. Don't you like Lanky? I found it kind of endearing. My wife always enjoys listening to Lanky. Lately, she's been burying her nose in the sewing machine and rarely goes outside. Should I invite Lanky to our home and play a few songs for her? Honey, look who I brought home today. Oh my, isn't it Lanky? Weren't you just playing down the street? I even heard you from here. Yes, I was playing there and Mr. Taylor asked me to come by. I know you like him a lot, so I brought him back with me. You've been so caught up with work these days. I hope you can enjoy yourself a little. Thank you so much, dear. But it's lunchtime now. Everything's been prepared and ready. Lanky, why don't you come sit and have lunch with us? Hope you don't mind. We can have lunch, then you can do your things. You're too kind. I'm sorry for dropping by and announced. A and the meal looks so delicious with that huge trout you got there. Thank you for the delicious food. Thank you, it just got out of the pan. Come on, let's dig in while the food is still hot, shall we? <coughs> There's no need to rush. There's plenty of food. It's just... I don't get such good meals like this often. <coughs> fish, fish food! Link, Lanky, are you alright? Honey, he isn't moving anymore. Is it possible that he... No way. He was just choking on some fish bones. How come this turned out so terrible? Keep trying, dear. We need to save him. Oh, oh my god. Why can't I hear his breathing? Honey, we're screwed. He's... he's actually... dead. He stopped breathing. This is bad. He's dead because of our trout. My god, what should we do now? He died in our house by our meal. Does this mean, are we murderers, dear? No one can know about this. I can't leave him here. We need to hide his body tonight. But where can we hide it? Let me think. Dear god, where's that man coming from? Oh, fall like that will hurt for sure. Was I the one who pushed him down the stairs? Oh no, it couldn't be, dear God. Why were you lying at my front door anyway? Uh, 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 honey, you need to see this. I think he's dead, dear. Is this one of your patients coming to complain? How can I remember? There are thousands of them. What should we do now? If the officials know this, I'll be severely punished. You need to help me. We need to hide his body. But where can we hide it? I got a plan. Do you remember that one grumpy and annoying neighbor? His chimney happens to sit right next to our roof. I think you and I should bring him up there and drop him down his chimney. Great idea. Let's get this over with. Or else someone might find out. What's that awful noise? Sounds like it came from the chimney. It's those mice again. Sounds like there are hundreds of them. I'll deal with you once and for all. You won't get away this time. A burglar! How dare you steal from my house? You're planning to hide in the chimney for the right time? I'll teach you a lesson. Let's see if you dare to steal again, you pathetic burglar! 
Uh, I've got carried away. He, he's dead. What should I do now? If the officials know that I beat him to death, I'll be severely punished. This isn't good. I have to get rid of the body. N n now, it's almost morning. Lie here, will you? So by morning, nobody will know why you're dead, and I'll be innocent. Let's leave before someone finds out. My way home seems so shaky today. Is the street moving by itself? What? There's an earthquake? This is nothing. I can balance well. Others may fall, but not me. You trip me over, you moron. How dare you sit there blocking my way? Let me teach you a proper lesson, then. Stop it. You're going to kill him. I'm the high official's guard. If I didn't patrol past here, no one would have known a dreadful murder case like this. I'm bringing you back for the official's judgment. No, no. It's not like that. I, I only hit him a few times. Don't you see? He's dead because of you. You won't get away this time, murderer. For today's trial, this drunkard has beaten a man to his death. He must be executed to claim justice for our lanky here. I, I was drunk. I didn't know anything. Please, please spare my life. No can do. You're a murderer. If I spared you today, this city will be filled with cruel, heartless criminals like you. That's right. A life for a life. He must be executed. Half with his head. He killed the young Pipe Piper at the market. The boy was so young and talented, and yet he killed him. Please, I, I know my crime. All because of my drinking habit, I accidentally killed him, but I'm not a murderer. Please, let me live so I can redeem myself. I'll never drink again. Redeem with your own life. Rules are rules, and a murderer cannot be spared. Gods, I sentence this man to his death. Wait, sir. That drunkard is innocent. I'm the one who killed Lanky. What? That's impossible. Who are you? What's all this about? Wasn't that drunkard caught red-handed beating Lanky to his death? What does this man have anything to do with it? Tell me what happened right now. Sir, I was about to fall asleep by the fireplace. Uh, then I heard this noise inside the chimney. I thought there were some mice inside, so I got up from the chair and searched the chimney with a stick. Turned out there was no mice at all, but it was Lanky. I thought he was a burglar trying to rob me, so I beat him up. I didn't mean to, but I, I beat him to death. I was afraid to be punished for murder, so I carried Lanky to the street and left him lying next to a tree. I killed Lanky. The drunkard's not guilty. I am. So that's the case. So Lanky was already dead before Drunkard beat him. That's scary. He's almost dead because of someone else's crime. Knowing Drunkard was about to be executed, I couldn't bear it. Another man has to die because of my doing. The guilt and regret would haunt me for the rest of my life. Your honesty is admirable, but your crime has to be punished. Guards, free the drunkard and execute this man. Wait, sir. That man is not the one to blame. It was me and my wife. We are the ones who killed Lanky. What is happening? So it's not him, but you're the murderer? This is getting weird. Oh, there's a lot more people confessing. I'm so confused. So that other man did not kill Lanky? Let's see what they have to say. You two, tell me what happened immediately. Yes, sir. I'm the town's doctor. I was going out for some fresh air that night. Then suddenly I tripped over someone who just happened to lie in our doorway. I didn't mean to, but he fell down and hit the ground. My wife and I went back to check, but he was already dead. Only now did I know who he is. We got panicked, so we brought Lanky up to the roof of that other man's home and threw Lanky down into his chimney. We wanted him to take the blame. But today we realize that he's a good man, so we cannot just let a good person suffer for what we did. We are so sorry, but we didn't mean to kill anyone. Please spare our lives. All this time, I thought you were a mean and vile man. But seeing you willing to put your life on the line for someone else, we couldn't just stand by and watch. And I thought you were just a stingy couple, but you two turned out to be just fine. Sir, please give the doctor and his wife a chance. 
No! To take someone's life is an unforgivable crime! Sir, we are the real murderers. He was just having a meal with us, but he choked to death on a fishbone. We did not mean to kill him either. Please consider this. So the Taylor couple are the true murderers? This is so weird. How could this be? So you two are the ones who killed him? That day, Lanky was performing as usual at the market. I was so caught up with work, so my husband invited him to our home. He just came in for lunch, so we asked him to join us. Little did we know, the boy gobbled up the food and choked on a fishbone. We were terrified as he ceased to breathe right at that moment. So when I fell, we took his body out and put him in front of the doctor's house so he could take the blame for us. But today, knowing they are going to be executed, we cannot just stand by and do nothing. That's right. We're the ones that killed Lanky. No one should take the blame except for us. We're here to admit our crime. Please reconsider and have mercy on us. You must pay the price for your action. Both of you will face execution. Guards, bring this couple to the public execution. No, please. I'm begging you. We didn't mean to kill anyone. Please give us another chance. Rules are rules. There are no exceptions. People must know what happens to murderers. <coughs> Gosh, why am I lying here? Look at that! Did he just cough the fishbone out? Lanky, he's still alive! You really passed out for days just because of a fishbone? Lanky! You greedy gobbler! Do you know how many people have suffered because of you? Oh gosh, why am I even here? My body feels so sore, like it's been beaten up. I was just having lunch with the tailors at their home. That trout is amazing. I haven't even finished that fish. Such a pity. Wait, so this means none of us are the murderers? Thank God, Lanky is still alive, everyone! You managed to scare everyone, Lanky! From now on, we get to listen to his beautiful music again. Remember to eat carefully from now on. A lot of people were in trouble just because of you. No, it's our fault too. This all happened also because we kept blaming each other. Thank you so much, you two! You two are fine! You didn't sell me out for your own sake. Same to you. I thought you were just a mean and crabby foreigner, but seeing you help the drunkard, I am so sorry that we have misjudged you. From now on, let's live in harmony as nice neighbors. How about dinner tonight at my house? Sounds great. Save me a seat. I'll be right over. <laughs> Thank you. You're having a celebration? Do you need some fine music service from me? All right, you can come and join us, Lanky. But remember not to make any fish dish, yeah? Turns out, Lanky just simply coughed up that fishbone. It had dawned on people that in life, sometimes there are little issues, but we tend to make them more complicated, causing more trouble than needed. <laughs>